So fishing is about a lot more than just catching a fish. Fishing's about travel, adventure, friendship. All these things are kind of what play into fishing. And so as I started to come up with this scheme of traveling down to Southern Oregon, I knew I had to involve a bunch of my buddies in this. One of the things I've always wanted to do with Addicted was gather a bunch of my friends together and go on these adventures, things that we've always wanted to do growing up or things that we've talked about or bucket list. You know, and it was crazy that we had never gone to Southern Oregon. We had never traveled down and fished some of the most amazing steelhead rivers that there are in the Pacific Northwest. And that was exactly what we were gonna do. gotten a little glimpse of the uh, the old Adventure Mobile Deluxe um, when we actually got to go tour the Yakima facility down in Oregon. And so when they told us we were going to get to use it for this trip and they were going to rack it out with all the fishing equipment and, and give us the trailer and everything else to put the raft on, you know, I didn't really know what to expect. And then when I pulled into Marlin's driveway with my little, uh, let's call it the, the mini Adventure Mobile, the Toyota with the two little Yakima racks on top. <laughs> and we pull in and it's got the, the shower, it's got the racks, it's got the stuff for our waders, it's got the fancy like five pound feather trailer back there. And it was, uh, it was kind of everything I expected it to be coming from, from a company like Yakima. That should do us for a little while at least. Should make it down there. Basically, once we got everything loaded up, we got everyone kind of jammed into the Yakima, the Yakima truck. It was sending it. We were sending it all the way down to Southern Oregon. We were gonna do the bash day one, and then at the end of day one, we were gonna just kind of figure it out. Got some brand new X rods in the packages, everyone. Hey, what's up, everyone out there? Thank you so much for tuning in to this little series. We just got in the trucks and drove, what, about four hours down yeah. to an area that I've wanted to fish like my entire life. There's steelhead rivers up and down Washington and Oregon's coast. It's crazy that we kind of live in like centralized area where you could drive like eight hours one way or eight hours another way and get to steelhead in both directions and we've never done it. Well, don't both are destinations too. That's yeah. the cool part. Yeah. And don't forget California. I mean, and also how many rivers did we drive over to get here? A that ton. All like, like, a ton. That, that, uh, there's a steelhead, there's a steelhead, there's a steelhead. Oh, yeah. A ton. All day. But the idea of this trip, guys, is we're gonna be yeah. exploring. We're exploring a whole bunch of new rivers that we've never fished before, and we're bringing you all along for the ride, so stay tuned. We can't wait to bring you along on the journey. Let's see what happens.
all of them. Okay. What do we got? Oh, thank you. All right. Hey, yeah. 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 Hey, where is she? Thank <laughs> you. Very good for us. Awesome. Well, all right, here we go. Came down here from Eugene. And first person here, I got this knife, Gerber tri-tip knife. This thing's just amazing, and so stoked and excited to meet these guys and see what's going on at the store. I can't get enough of their content. I heard they're going to be within my range to come see them, so me and my son came up uh, today. Every time I get a not bell notification, I'm right there, you know, watching their videos and uh, ordering their ordering their gear. Of course, I left my hoodie in the truck. Work? Jordan, Great. thank you, man. You're very welcome, buddy. Thanks for coming out. Thank you, man. Thanks for making the trip. All right, Addict, so as you can see, this is what our bash looks like. A lot of people coming out, a lot of giveaway items that we're going to be giving away. Thank you so much to all you guys that came and showed support. Dan's going to be giving a seminar here soon. Yeah, we're going to get started, but I guess we're going to have to come to Southern Oregon again. Yeah, I think, I think oh, so. Geez. I think we're going to have to make med for another stop soon. This place was awesome. Did you? Did you? <laughs> this is your All home. right, guys, stay tuned for more. Hopefully some fishing coming up very soon. So I see what you're saying. So you we, you could just take my truck to make it easy if you wanted to. Is it? Or I could just hop in with Ben. Ben. No, no, no. You can just take my truck, and we'll just take that. I mean, I guess the, how hard does it take to switch the trailer? It's not. It's like one pin. Yeah. So let's just do that. Normally. Or how far away are we going? Uh, it's like 15 miles. Okay. Cool. Every key you need is on that key ring. So in the morning, just. Unlock the, you know, just switch the trailer off and then bring the keys back up. You guys get to see what happens when we're in the hotel room planning the next day, which is what's happening right now. It's not as cool as you think it is. <laughs> it's, not as, it's not as cool. No, I think it is. There, there's a lot of strategy. Strategy that goes, and planning. There's a lot of strategy that goes into these strategy, nights. Strategy, strategy. It's all indecision and arguing. We caught the night before. <laughs> yeah. Preparation. And we wanted to split up. The idea was to kind of explore as many rivers as possible in a short time period. So what we did was we took two boats and put them on one river and we took two boats and put them on another river and we we're just gonna see what happens. Morning addicts, day one of the little adventure, the fishing part of it. Of course, last night we had the bash, it was awesome. I think we had about 170 of you guys out there. So super cool. Thank you guys for showing up. If you are watching this video, personal thank you because like I said before, I guess we got to come to Southern Oregon, but we're heading down here to drop some vehicles. Um, we're going to probably run some boats. Honestly, it's foggy out. I have no idea where the hell we're at. So we're just uh, getting after it pretty early in the morning. And hopefully we're going to get some fish. So me, Cameron, and Sean were given the task of going one area with Steve Chrysler from Pavati Marine. He actually came out and spoke at our seminar down there, which is awesome. He's a good friend of mine. Um, but he was going to show. He he was following a really good report from the day before uh, that he had gotten from the lower echelon of the river, where most of the guides. But as they told me uh, and Mikey that we'd be fine in the raft. Yeah, the raft will be fine. And as we start backing everybody's boats down into the water, I started noticing one thing uh, all of them had in common, and they all had a six horse. Um, Yamaha or, or whatever, Suzuki, you know, they all had motors on the back of the boats and um, I was pleasantly surprised in the next couple hours with getting to find out why. Who do you think is going to win today? I don't know, the other boys are on the other river today so we just kind of had to do a, you know, we go to a different area and then do a little divide and conquer so I think Lon, Lon came down, his buddy. Marlon, Ben, Ben came yeah. down last night, so hopefully those guys are getting them. Brought a knife to a gunfight over here. The raft? That's okay. <laughs> it's it's like, all about that slow no. presentation and right. only fishing them once. They don't want more than one look. They don't want more than one look? No, they get no. tired of it. Yeah. I've seen that drift boat before. I've seen that drift boat before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blue raft. Blue raft? Okay. <laughs> sure, I'll bite. Wow. <laughs> All right, everyone, here we are. This is our first day, first float in Southern Oregon. We're super excited about it. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna float down river. We got Lonnie's buddy, Nate, here that we're gonna be fishing out of his drift boat. We got Ben and his raft. He's also gonna be fishing. 
We're gonna float down this river first time. We'll see what happens. We're excited about it. You excited? I'm really excited, yeah. I can't wait. Like we said, we've been talking about doing this for years and it's weird that we've never done it considering we're only, you know, three, four hours away from some of these awesome rivers, whether we go north or south in different directions. So we decided to go south this time. Let's see what happens. The adventure awaits. When we got onto the river that first day, I remember thinking, man, this is a lot bigger river than what we typically fish. You know, in Southwest Washington, a lot of the areas we fish, we're fishing creeks or small places that, that aren't big giant rivers. Basically, we were just trying to approach it the same way we would a little river, just kind of dissecting it down, hitting the seams, hitting the boulder points, hitting the soft water points, and using the same tactics that we always use. So we were fishing worms, we were fishing jigs, throwing a little bit of spoons, and then Lonnie's buddy obviously was making us fish beads. So we were throwing a little bit of bead action as well. You guys been getting any fish? No bites. No bites. Do you have a bobber Gandhi up there or something? I've seen you like looking at your worm, like looking for teeth marks. We had marks. a couple like random little bobber downs that we're fishing. Yeah. We're gonna just call them trout. Trout snibbles. Yeah. Or that link cod. Or that link cod. Yeah, That's what that was. There's okay. Freshwater link cod in here. So uh, no one hit this upper stretch here, so I think we ought to go give this a shot real quick. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, uh, we'll run down to that next little run down there and beat it up. That's kind of what I'm thinking will work out. They didn't get them all. They didn't get them all. No They're way. actually going to move them up to us. <laughs> They're going to run from the aluminum yeah. fleet of boats coming at them. They like pretty boats. They like pretty boats. This is a pretty boat. Holy smokes. They like the pretty boats. Look at this. It's got like six cup holders up here, folks. You see that? Six. You can have two beers and a coffee going at once. Absolutely. <laughs> this is some big water, folks. This is big water than what we're a lot used to fishing. So this is what happens when you always catch more fish than your friends. <laughs> when you go to new rivers, is you get stuck in the raft with an anchor back there in the water. And they get drift boats with motors on them. Yeah. And they get lazy. Yes, yeah, so they get to fish all the water more than you. But we'll, we will prevail. We will be top dogs today because we got the dog. <laughs> right, Lito? Right? Yeah. Our Pavati spinner proof. <laughs> oh, whoa. Don't mess with Jordan and a spinner, apparently. That was like right there. Oh, 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 oh. That would have been sick. Woo! No, it's a steelhead lit. It's a half pounder. It counts as half. Ready for it. It is a half pounder, dude. Mark it. Count it. Nice, dude. Look how pretty that is. Yeah. Half pounder. Boy. First one of the trip. That counts. It's a numbers game. <laughs> That's a fish. I got a fish. Oh my god. That thing just took off. That was 100% fish, dude. Dang. It's just gone. Oh my god. It even, dude, it like, dude, that was nuts. Oh my gosh. That thing, that looked like Jaws took off with it. There's no way that was like a small, or I right. bet that bobber oh, yeah. looked like Jaws. It was gone ski. <laughs> Let's go run up there and try that again. Uh, that was a fish. I oh yeah. Like, Let's see if he's got yeah, a buddy laying fish. up there. See if we can get him. Maybe tell Jordan. Yeah. No, we don't want to tell him anything. <laughs> what do you think? Did he bite the pink one? Or did he bite the pink one? <laughs> Let's see if I can screw it up again, eh? What are you doing here, Jordan? We're uh we're going bass fishing on the lake now. Yeah, All of a here. sudden. <laughs> now, i uh, get the motor thing now. Get the motor. As if I didn't before. <laughs> we'll take them here, they said. They'll have fun, they said. <laughs> the original idea for filming this, if none of you will find out until now, was that we were supposed to be on teams. And there was supposed to be a bet place to see who could catch more fish. But as soon as we got out on the river... Uh, it was pretty apparently pretty quick that Steve and uh, Cameron didn't know the weirdo in the blue raft, so. 
guess I understand the motor now. <laughs> what, the 35 horse ain't working? Oh, that slew? <laughs> oh, yeah, that slew. They really get them down there in that lake. <laughs> I'm already going to hop in there and roll it for you just so I can get warm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like, I'll just steer so I don't go off he's track. He's really concerned right now. He's like, what is, what are you doing? He's like, Dad, this isn't how this normally works. This, this is, is really how rafts slip. <laughs> this is how rafts slip, children. Don't do this. So we're about, I don't know, how far are we down on this float? Halfway? Yeah. We're about halfway done with our float so far this morning. And it's been, it's well, it's fishing. We're fishing, we're not catching right now, but it's still awesome being out here. The water's great, the weather, the clouds just burned off. So we're kind of hoping this bottom half is gonna turn on a little bit. It's kind of a temperature spike. So yeah, anyways, stay tuned. That was a fish, dude. He, he hit it three times in there. Really? You saw that the whole the time. Dude, he hit it and then he hit it and then he hit it again and buried it. <laughs> Dang it. Dude, that was a fish. How did I miss that? Dude, I'm getting like frustrated because now I'm like, I've deepened out and that was, that was a fish. He hit it at first like up in the ripple. Yeah, yeah. It just did like a little bad. Yeah, following it? Yeah. That's why I was thinking maybe it was a trout or something, but. Oh. Yeah. Hell with that. This had a BD right there. Just saying, throwing it out there. Felt like a tail shake, real quick. I hadn't had it go down in there at all. <laughs> I've been through it a hundred times. Oh my god, his bobber didn't go down. Oh, that's awesome. That is so scary. I can feel him just on every rock, every, just grinding against everything. Is that worm? Yeah. Uh, it's bigger than we think. He is fighting so hard. I'm gonna try right here. I'm gonna lift him. Woo! So we finally pull off to the side, we kind of split up, and the first little boulder seam that me and Ben hit, I hooked this fish and we land it and we finally get our first taste of Southern Oregon steelhead. Dimer. Yeah. Nice. Well, we've been grinding a little bit, haven't we guys? Yeah. We finally found one. My first Southern Oregon wild steelhead. I think she's probably ready to go whenever we want to let her go. Heck yeah. Yee! Heck yeah. On board. We got one. Red haze, white tail, addicted worm. Cash money. That was sweet. Ben that was, was like, you gonna get that? Bad. I was like, uh, <laughs> get that? That's awesome. Right after I saw that one right off the rock. Well, it has been a total mutiny at this point. Our teammates have left us with no rations or provisions. <laughs> Just a dog and a Filipino. <laughs> and uh, a hippie cowboy. Hippie cowboy. I was on him though, damn it, that time. <laughs> Got me one, boys. We got little uh, coho schmolt. Oh, I'm just gonna get rid of him. Almost chopped him in your boat. Yeah, do your win and roam, right? Win and roam. You wanna put a little stink on it? If you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> you got garlic on there right it's now? Good. It's still got still the there. stink on it. Plenty on there. Come on, Mr. Fishy, eat my yarny ball that's flavored in garlic and stink. Oh, fish. That's fish. That's fish, my friend. That's what's going on. 
work, brother. Ooh. I'm gonna sit back here and eat my pepperoni stick and yeah, enjoy. Yeah, but you just do that. Hey, the pepperoni was good luck. I tell you, you can't right, expect guys. them to eat if you don't. Yeah. We got some live Whoa. action. Oh, <laughs> jumper! Live action. That a boy. Nice little fish. Yeah. Oh, do it again. Call him little again. He says. <laughs> oh, gotta open you. Get after it. Right in here. You're yeah. welcome. Nice job, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Let's go get it. Nice Heck job, yeah, dude. brother. A little chunkier fish than I thought. Yeah. Got some shoulders. Yeah, pretty. Good job, Steve. Persistent. I was like, we're going to run this again. Are we really going to run this again? And freaking, you put us on it and bam. All right, guys. Beautiful little hen chrome bullet. Fat little gal. She's not spawned yet. Fresh arrival. Hook came right out there. Oh, 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 oh. Let me just chill out there just a second. Sweet. Thank you, Steve. I feel like that was my second one today, but I kind of boneheaded the first one. So Steve had to like hold my hand to that one. <laughs> Well, we have officially been ditched. Yeah. Our friends are nowhere in sight. They obviously stayed back at the good hole and didn't let us know. And now we're rowing down the river, trying to find our own spots, trying to find our own place in the world. <laughs> here with all the drift boats. We're in the raft and drift boat land. Well, I feel pretty lost. <laughs> but we keep using our quirky tactics from up north try to find us a southern Oregon steelhead oh that was a fish dude that was a fish that was a fish that was a fish I bet you a dollar one dollar shiny one little tail out here nice and deep. So one of the goals as we were floating down the river was we really wanted to catch a big fish. We had heard that there were some really, really big fish in the river and Lonnie's fishing beads were floating down, we're bobber dogging and he finally hooks in to what I think ends up being the biggest fish on the trip. It's got shoulders, bro. Coming in this way. It's heading up river. Oh god. Right below the boat. 15 feet. 10 feet from the bobber. It's got some shoulders. Woo. Dude, he's a fat he's a fatty. I gotta get over this. Fatty. He's holding, holding fast. You ready? That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Oh God. It's a slap. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Really nice. It's a nice fish. Nice. Number two, baby. That's a tank. That's what we came looking for. Oh, 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 oh. Look yeah. at the head on him. Oh, he's heavy. <laughs> what a freaking studly fish. This thing's heavy. That's what we came here oh, for. Oh, boys. Right there. Probably yeah. 35. 35. Got a little bit of a yep. curl in him. 35. Oh, yeah. 17 and a half. 18. Right 18 there. and a half. 18 and a half. Go to the zero. Go to the zero. Yeah. A little, little, little bit over little 18 bit and over. a half. 35 by 18 nice. and a half. That's a joint. Awesome. What a fish. Look at this guy. I'm not even going to tell you, but I guess I will. On a bead. Freaking bead. 
Oh man, so we landed that really, really big steelhead and that was just an absolute beauty of a steelhead. It's awesome, awesome colors. As you guys can see, we keep them in the addicted landing nets and get a nice safe release on them, but that fish was fun to tango with. It looked like Lonnie had a blast catching that thing. Mm. You can tell, that's where you can really tell how fat he is. He's gonna go shady. any second now. Just look at it. Would you just look at it? Just look right oh. at it. That is a stud. That's just a cool looking shape of a it fish. It is. Bye, guy. Woo, I'm wet and that was awesome. <laughs> that was sick. That's what we came here for, boys and girls. That's yes. what we came here for. Whatever gets him in. Dude, yeah! Back to her. I think it's his little sister. That's tearing it up. His head shaking so much. Like, And the net, baby. That's another just diver. Look at that thing. That thing's chrome. Look at that beauty, guys. Number three for the day. This one's a pretty one. This is that, this is the little sister of the one Lonnie got. Just an awesome fish. All right, addicts. See you later, pretty girl. Yee! All right. Yes. That was a little chromey. She was rallying. Barbara should just be draining right now. This is where it's supposed to happen. In a five, four, three, two, one. Oh my God, that was a fish. Oh, you've tabbed it. They damn near yanked the rod out of my hands. Good. Well, we're using technology and a little bit of fishing engineering and getting the heck out of here. We made it through most of the good holes, Steve said, so we're going to go get some lunch. <laughs> the camera got one fish though. The mission accomplished. Caught a fish on this river at least. Talk to him. Shut up. What? You talk to the guys? They got one fish. Are they lying? Huh? Are they lying? No, they all sound depressed. Really? Yeah. They got four? Zero. <laughs> I sit down. I don't know how long that bobber was under. I, I wasn't looking at it at the time. I sat down. I sat on scissors. Stood up. Looked at the scissors. Set them down. Sat down again. Looked around. No bobber. Dear. Oh yeah. Oh boy. It's a nice. Not like not quite as the other one, but. Oh, here we go. I think he's ready. Yeah! Literally, I went to sit down, my bobber was gone. I sat down on scissors, I stood up, didn't look at my bobber at all, grabbed the scissors, set them down, looked at the seat, sat down, turned around and my bobber was gone. Like, <laughs> it was probably 20 seconds before, like in that window, that I did not see my bobber at all. And I don't know how long it was down. I just, 
That is so awesome. Classic. Well, in we the middle of that. We just got an update from the other guys. They finally called us back in the search. It sounds like they struggled. They had a tough day. Really? Yeah. Dang. Sounds like they might have got one, maybe. Really? They're already off the water, so. They were going to get food. They were like, they wanted us to row out and go get food with them. And I'm like, no, dude, we're fishing. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. We definitely found a little section of them. Look at that fish, dude. Look at that red pearl addicted worm just right in her face. What a pretty fish. Just chrome. This can be out here right now. Yee -hee! I hope that the other guys are joking. They did better. They sounded really depressed. Yeah, but that's easy to fake. All right, everyone. We're probably, what, are we more, little three quarters of the way down now? We've got how many fish? Five. Five for five. We ran into a little pot of them finally. They're loving the addicted worms. Got one on a bead. It's been a good day so far. We couldn't have asked for any more for our first adventure down to Southern Oregon. Like I said, this has kind of been a bucket list trip for us for a long time. And we're stoked to be here and we're stoked to bring you guys along for the ride. Let's go find out what happens next. He's not giant, but he's, it looked like a bigger hen. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Found it. That is a nice freaking hen. That's what I thought. It looked like a nice hen. Good transfer. Transfer. That's a nice fish. That is a nice net for the Oh yeah. That's a freaking fat hen. <sighs> yeah, she's got some meat on her. Oh, she's, she wants to go. I'm trying to let you go if you just let me get you out of the net, lady. Ooh. Here she is, folks. Thanks so much, Southern Oregon. Bonnie. Found it. Ben. Frick yeah. Addicts. If anything, we'll just hop out. Yeah, I think hop out and I can walk down the river. And I'm gonna get her a little higher up before I do any moving. That is. Oh, there it is. And there it is. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love that you just asked that. Because <laughs> that the end of that where I just picked it up yeah. made me think it was a sucker fish. I caught the smallest fish of the day. I get it. A, I get a price. Right? I would have to say that the bead is almost the size of its head. Beep. Let, me, let me get one. Fish is a fish. That's right. We thought if it was any bigger, I don't think I'd have got it up here because it was down in there. Yeah. It, that broad was maxed out. He's <laughs> holding it right at that white water. But we're definitely running out of daylight. Yes, we are. This is the only section I wouldn't mind getting through before that gets too dark. So as the day started progressing on, we, we were catching quite a few fish. It seemed like every like good seam or thing that we could find we could get on fish and it sucks because we started running out of daylight to the point where we were like having to like fish quick through a lot of these areas and i think if we wouldn't have ran out of time we would have caught even more fish You cannot complain if you end the day at steelhead fishing with some hot food. Nope. Yeah. Well, okay. Those like guys are all sad because they don't have hot food. That's why. Nah. Could be. Could be. <laughs> well, what did you guys think of your first day down a Southern Oregon River? Started off fishing. 
searching, grinding, not, grinding, grinding, really hitting it hard. grinding, not finding anything. And then after that first fish, our moods just shot up and fishing just shot up. And it, was like it was like from that point on, it was like bam, 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 bam. It was. Shows your confidence. Yeah, just keep first, at it. Seriously, it's crazy. Yeah. Just what it does. One fish just right after the other. Just yeah. up and up and up. Okay, addicts. Packing up. Gonna go get the trailers. Go meet up with the other guys. Figure out the plan for tomorrow. Let's see what happens. It ends up being an absolute blast of a day. We pull the boats out and we end up heading out to dinner and planning the next day. There was a big controversy then that, that night was, was whether to go fish more boats on the one river and, and kind of dissect that. Now that those guys had kind of gotten an idea or send it, you know, three hours on most of the coast to where we wanted to fish the second day, um, where where we'd all kind of hankered to go fishing to begin with, where, where actually Lonnie's buddy was from. So we made that call about nine o'clock at night. We all went out and got some Applebee's and loaded up in the trucks and did a full send, made it safe. Um, there was a big bowl of taffy at the hotel waiting for us. And uh, we all crashed out and got ready for the next day. So the original plan for day two was we were actually going to do like a little bit of a float tilla. All of us were going to go up to the top of this special river that Nate loved to fish and we were just going to float down together and just have a good time catching fish. We get in this convoy of trucks and start going up to the put and I'm looking over the, over the, uh, out of the window of the truck while Marlon's driving. And as we start heading up river, I noticed that this river that was already about the width of the rafts started losing these little tributaries. Like within the first mile that uh, we started going up the road. We realized it was getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And I'm like, Jordan, we got to not do this, dude. Like this river's way too small. There's no way we can all fit on this section. So I ended up just hauling butt, like using the truck to like catch up to Lonnie and get in front of him and basically tell him like, dude, we're going to bail. We're going to float this lower half of the river and try to do something different. I mean, it'll be, it would be fun to all hang out, but it's there's gonna be lots of dudes that's not even fishing problems. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So just time it right. Because we just, because if, part if, my truck, we if it's off like you guys are off the water at noon and we're right here, we're no, not, yeah. not no. gonna row out. We'll, we'll take, we'll take so. our time. Okay. Okay, here's the plan. We're gonna go way the heck up on this river and send one, and we're gonna go way low on this river and send one and see what happens. You fish this river quite a bit, like your whole life or what? Pretty much. Pretty much your whole life. Yeah. So he's kind of showing us the ropes a little bit, but me and Jordan have never been on this lower section. We're just gonna go down there and see what happens. And these guys are gonna go up and see what happens. And let's see what happens. Divide and conquer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is day two on the Oregon coast down in Southern Oregon. Wish us luck. Rally, rally. Rally. Southern Oregon. <laughs> Tell you what guys, if you're looking for a legit, a legit rod holder system, I think Yakima nailed it with these. They're amazing. We're loving them. We got them on all of our trucks. The guys over at Yakima Racks, who were, is one of our new partners now, they were gracious enough to let us borrow this Ford Ranger for this trip. This is their Ford Ranger build that they did at SEMA. They got the road shower on it the Yakima Topwater, the Yakima Real Deal, and Sean is gonna roll some sick B-roll of the Yakima SEMA build right now. That's gonna be a pain going through that the whole time. And we can probably walk up and fish it if we really want. How long a shot of rope you got? Yep, let's run down there. Balls. 
This is going to be an adventure. So what are we Hopefully. doing? Uh, well, we just saw the river for the first time and our put in is blocked by like a hundred yards of rocks like two feet apart. It's a lot lower than what we expected. So we're gonna walk down river a little bit and just try and rope these rafts down over the cliff. We're gonna just find a trail, hopefully a deer trail or something and rope them down. So it's going to be a long day I feel like. My back and shoulders are gonna be feeling it. Sucks for those guys, we got all the prawn. Oh. <laughs> Boys getting to work. What you do to get down to the technical yeah. stuff. Got two rafts heading down right now. And hopefully we've got enough guys and no tips broken. <laughs> One, two, three. Sure. Yours? Oh, yeah, it's fine. I got it. I got it. You got it? I got it. Yeah. Yep. Good job. Lay on. Ready? In route. <laughs> Definitely out of our element a little bit. Just a new area and whatnot, but the water looks dialed. Tight water the way we like it. Yesterday we adventured in some uh, bigger water. And so, a little bit out of our neck of the woods, but. Talk about one extreme to the other. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Going from a lake out to here we go to the creek. I think I'm gonna wear on a worm on one rod today. Then a suspended bead set up on the other. Same addicted fixed float on each rod, but two different setups completely. I'll show you guys those as we get them ready here. One thing I'm going to do today, because I'm using that 20 pound test, is I'm going to add a little barrel swivel to my line and connect a lighter leader to that, because we're fishing a new river I don't know, and what I don't want to do all day is lose my precious addicted fixed float. So I'm going to add a little barrel swivel to my leader, to that 20 pound bumper that I have here, and then I'm going to add a smaller piece of like light line, like a, like a, you know, a lighter 12 pound fluorocarbon to the base of it so one that if i do get snagged i can break my my jig off easy enough and for two is to make it so those fish can't quite see it as well throughout the day here let's see here what do we got what do we got what do we got let's go with the old fashioned 12. I'll go with about a foot and a half so i can fish some of this shallow stuff Change my mind already. I'm gonna go with white head. I'm going blue tail. You never quite have the setup correctly unless you got a little bit of rust on your hook. That's how you know the, the jig's got mojo. He's been around the block. This is an experienced jig head. It's seen some fish. It's seen some live action. Ooh, that's the one. That's the one, boys and girls. Oh my goodness. Take it back. That wasn't the one, everybody. There is the one. No, that's not the one. Oh, that's the one. That's the one. Right there. Probably rig up, rig up a fixed float, eh? Doing it. Double fixy. I'm going double fixer. I'm going one with a bead set up. One with a jig. I'm gonna do the same thing. But I'm doing a little inline. Inline save my float, as I call it. I like little. it. So this is what happens a lot of times out there addicts is you as you can see we're completely changing up our setups from one river to the next because now we went from a river that was a little bit more inward on land that had a lot more water volume had dams on it controlling it glacier to a coastal stream that's like hasn't seen water in probably what nine ten days Jordan yeah and it's gotten low it's gotten really really low so what we're doing now is we're getting rid of our sliding float setups with our inline weights and we're going to switch to a to a fixed setup we're going to get a lot more subtle just 
not much on your setup to hopefully trick some of these fish into biting because when the water gets low and clear like the steelhead aren't as dumb as what people think now there is going to be the bitey ones that are just going to grab right out the gate but then there's going to be those ones that you need to to have that extra five percent to help you catch fish so that's what we're doing we're going to rig up some bead setups which i'm not going to fish because i hate beads and we're going to rig up some worm and jig setups we're going to catch some steelhead i can swear to god i could see him swimming We see some fish kind of rolling on the other side of the bank and we end up spending literally like an hour or two like trying to catch these fish that are rolling on the other side of the bank. And finally, we send off down the river and the goal is gonna be just to search, just to look for fish, fish quick. The water was low and so we knew when we landed on them, it was gonna be good fishing. So we were just gonna work our way down and fish as fast as we could. I'm already glad we came down here. This just seems fishy. Look for wakes a lot today too. You know what I mean? As we're, as we're going down these brush lines, look for the fish moving around because you'll be able to see them in these slow spots. But I bet there's a lot of fish hanging out in this stuff. Move. Uh, drain. 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 Look at how that water has like a blue tint to it. Oh, there was one, huge one too. Really? Yep, big darky. Big darky. All scarred up. Damn it. Maybe just flip it down here. It was only one. I think you could get out there and probably get some casts in there. I'm just gonna go right back up and hide behind this tree and place a couple in there. See how much, I mean, he's not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> it's just on the edge of that little back, Eddie. See him under there? A dark line right from like the last stick. Straight in line. here? Yeah. Is that him? Yeah, I think that's him. I'm gonna drop it. Yeah. Damn. Those are some moves. We should have got him right there. That's some good looks. Is that him right there moving up to the right of that? Oh my god, look what I just did. I can see him moving around in there. Is he right in the center of the freaking current? That's what happens when you're like trying to find fish and you're not paying attention. I don't see him. I didn't see him at all, dude. We blew him up, maybe up into the I other think log. He was just underneath that log the whole time. We're into the fish now. We saw one. Saw one darky. A little confidence, though. I guess. I mean, just that we saw a fish in this like water that's like you know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah, that's a pretty good sign like that's not a bad sign sean it's not a bad sign america i started going down the river kind of really fast you know i wasn't letting marlin get cast into a lot of stuff i was looking in the river trying to find and visually see fish to know if we were wasting our time or not and we had no way of knowing how far we were gonna you know how far we had to go that day we never floated that section of the river ever and the plan was to just get picked up at the end we didn't even leave a shuttle rig down at the bottom um, and so we were kind of you know second guessing our time second guessing how much we fish in certain spots and as we cruised down the river we eventually came to like the fourth hole of the day and uh, pretty much ran into the mother load So as me and Jordan are going down, we're just fishing quick. We finally get into this hole that's pretty deep. I bet it, would ten, it was 10, 15 feet deep. And Jordan makes his first cast in there after we set anchor and his bobber just, I mean, it's berries. That was 100%, dude. That went under so perfectly. That was a fish. Oh my. Oh my God. I seriously have goosebumps right now. What the hell was that? How'd you miss him? I don't know. You were only that deep. Oh my freaking gosh. Pull the worm up and it's completely shredded. It looked like it sent, was sent through a cheese grater. So obviously it was a fish. We're both, you know, me and Marlon are sitting there cussing ourselves, wondering why it didn't stick. That was the most perfect ball gun I've ever seen in my life. You did have a delayed hook set, but. I was letting him eat it. And honestly, I wasn't even really ready for it, but I still, I still reeled down to it and still stuck him. The bobber was completely under the water. 
So then the very next cast through there goes about an extra 20 yards past where I you know, initially got that bobber down. Bobber drains again, completely whiffed it again. There he is, there he is, there he is. That has to be trout. It's gotta be. The thing freaking drains again, sets the hook, misses it again. I'm like, what in the heck is going on? Then it just dies. Like, we're like fishing, trying everything. I am switching jigs, Jordan's switching worms, we're not getting any bites. I finally put this jig on that we like to call chicken So I put this jig on, I cast it out there, it's going through, going through, and it just buries. And as, when it buries this time, I like waited. I'm like, okay, let's make sure it buries. Jordan's like, are you gonna set the hook? Got him, got yes, him. You do. Yep, nice I got him. Too. Good job. <laughs> Damn it, dude. <laughs> Persistence right there, man. Dude, I finally got the just perfect drift that you were trying to get. Oh, here he goes. That was just a bear jig, Jordan. No, no, no. no. Really pretty fish. He's already so tired. Now he's figured out what's going on. He said to touch him the right way. Look at that. Nice fish, dude. What a beauty. The old red stripe. Yee! So we simplified it up is what happened. Off the water, yeah. He had giant teeth too. That Did was he? totally the fish that oh, bit the worm. No. <laughs> that was awesome. We land this fish, first fish of the second day, and then we're excited. We're like, okay, awesome. There's some fish in here. There may be some more in there. We knew they were gonna be stacked up. We actually then switched boat positions. We put the boat in a completely different spot, and we're sending stuff down through, sending stuff down through. We know there's fish in the hole. We had a few different bobber downs in there, nothing. So we give that literally, I bet we were in that hole for two plus hours, just throwing everything at these fish. So I pull anchor, I make two oar strokes across the top of the hole and Marlon starts absolutely going berserk. Look at all of them, dude. Are you kidding We just landed on a gold mine. It's okay, they're not going anywhere. Swear to God. There was literally 25 steelhead right there. Did you see all? Oh there, my God, yeah. They're there not was, going anywhere. Jordan, there was some chromers in there. We're not going anywhere. That's what's not going anywhere. <laughs> you see all of them? Let's go up there above the tree and just hang out for a minute. Give it about 20 minutes. Let them settle back and then let's fish it. I'm going to get one right now. We're uh, still floating this tiny little river. I don't, I have no idea how far we're down it. I've never been on it. I think we're probably maybe a quarter of the way down. And as you can see, it's really small, a lot smaller than what I was anticipating. We're hoping for the best. I think it's going to be kind of a onesie twosie day. Just kind of pick the water apart, hit the tiny little green water. If you can't see the bottom cast, basically, that's where we're going to get them, I think. But what we're really hoping for is a couple of fish and no impassable passages because it's extremely low right now. I've already had to drag literally around every single corner. So. Fish. Got him. Trout. Trout. Bam! <laughs> Monster. Crossed his eyes though. They're all sitting like right in there. Oh my god. Yes, they're, sw yeah, they're swimming around in a circle. Shallow of your worm cast over there. You can see one of our worms. In the back, Eddie. Oh my god. They're back there? Oh, I can see them now. Yeah, they're just swimming around in a circle. Look at them all. Oh my God. You can see so many of them. They're swimming around like an aquarium, dude. Oh, one's moving over for it. Oh my God. This is gonna be hard to leave. There's literally a pod of like 10 of them. Oh, they did not like that. See, you can see the whole bottom moving. Oh my God. Did you see that? This is insanity. I'm about, look at that. I'm gonna hit that one in the face. That is it. He's coming after it. Big one. He's going for it. Oh, I got it. Oh, my God. Oh. He's still coming for it. He completely crushed it. You pulled it away from him, Jordan. I was freaking out, man. That's okay. Now I got him figured out. He crushed it. There was multiples it. chasing it. He's chasing it again. 
Oh my God, see the one on it? He's right on it, he's right on it. Take it, take it, take it. Oh my God, did you see? oh my God. This is the one. Oh my God, oh. I'm just trying not to do the same thing. That one's railed it. I really one. wish all you guys could see these fish. It's crazy. Put your spinner in there one more time and then let's rock. It's really hard to leave fish like that, but at the same time, if there's that many of them right here, who knows what's down river, you know? Oh my God, they're all coming right back this way. Look at them Almost hit that one with my finger. Let's go. We're no way, throw that micro worm in there. I already tried that. Oh my God. These Smith glasses, guys, are next level. You can see every single fish in the hole, unfortunately, today. Look at them all right here. One's got a jig in his face, in his mouth. One had a jig broken off in his face. Did you see that? It had a bright pink jig. There wasn't quite as many as I thought, though. There was 30. Yeah. I can see why they didn't bite, though. They're, they're, I, we were seeing the chrome ones, and I got the chrome one to bite. He chased it down and totally destroyed that spinner like a coho. Probably the biggest one in there. Yeah, it was. I really screwed that up, you guys. Sorry. That was a really cool experience. Just that was worth it. Now, meanwhile, I think the other boat was struggling quite a bit. They, you know, from, from talking to them, the water was super low, the chutes were low, the fish just weren't there. They were checking in each of the holes, and I think they may have had a couple bobber downs, but their day wasn't going very good. guys are just killing it. I mean, just straight murdering. Fresh new sea light, chrome divers. On the hunt, day two, down here in Southern Oregon. Okay, everyone, well, it's almost one o'clock. We finally got down to the lower, lower end of the river where we're gonna spend the rest of the day. And we're basically just hunting. We're learning on the fly. It really kind of reminds me, I've fished places like this before, haven't you, Marlon? Oh yeah. Where it's like super tidal, super low end of the river, a lot of log jams, a lot of crazy structure, and uh, we might have to sacrifice a few jig heads, but I think once we actually do find another hole like that one we were on where there's just a pot of fish, we're gonna be on them for a little bit there. We just gotta run into a few. Yeah. We just gotta run into a few. That was kind of the hopes, is we were gonna get down here and hope that the tide was pushing pushing some fresh High fish in. High tide's at 3.30 today, and it's, it's one right now, so we're working our way down. We got a couple hours to get down towards tide water, and then we're just gonna camp out, see what happens. See what until, happens. Until we have to go, wait for a phone call. There it is. Oh my God. What was that, Jordan? I can't tell with the tree or a fish. Thrown it. Couldn't tell if it was a tree or a fish, and it was a tree. Well, that got the blood pumping a little. That got the blood pumping a little, but bent the jig hook out a little, so we need to grab the old Gerber pliers. Bend her on back. Come on, baby. Give us a cromer. Give us a chrome or we deserve it. <laughs> oh, Jordan almost got killed. Did you see how good that buried though? Shoot. Shoot, guys. That may have been a fishy. Yeah, dude, it's not doing anything in there anymore. I've been through there twice now. It didn't even like tap. Got it. Got her. There he is, Jordan. Call that precision fishing. Yeah. 
Went in there three or four times, Addicts kept getting bit. Turns out, it was a stick fish. Little googie. So we're going down, we're not finding much. Like we're starting to get discouraged at this point because we're not finding any fish again. And finally, we're coming down in this hole. My bobber's going through. We're kind of fishing on the fly. Jordan was just rowing. We weren't even pulled over. Did we go down? Yeah, it was just a, the ledge or something. There he is. Nice. Ooh, that's a hot fish, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thanks, dime. Yeah. Like, 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 dime. like chrome, 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 chrome. Did you see that little mini tail walk it did? Yeah. This thing's got a lot of life stuff. Oh, he's translucent, dude. <laughs> Get me out. Oh, 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 he just jumped so high, dude. <laughs> this thing is blue. It's blue. It's literally blue. Ooh. That was so violent. God. It's <laughs> gonna let him work out. I got a good hook set on him. <gasps> oh, you talked him right off of there. Took your word. No. I mean, he just pops off and I, I don't know that I've been that like upset about losing a fish in a really, really long time. It was like, it was sad. It Damn it, I really wanted to see that fish. That was, really cool, that was a really cool fish. <sighs> that sucks. You freaking kidding me? There's my worm. There's my worm right there floating. Oh, that was a nice, nice fish. Oh my gosh. It was super, super sad, but our hopes were up. We were excited. We finally ran into some more fish. We think we're gonna catch more, so we start rowing down the river again and just continuing to search. Why are y'all wet? Come on, why has it been raining out here? It's blistering cold. 49 mile an hour winds. Bearing sea conditions. How far are we? We're a ways. We're, okay. to it. We're almost to where I normally put my drift boat in. Okay. <laughs> We're a long ways from the pull out. <laughs> that way. Nice. Good boogie. Good boogie. Still looking for number one. Number one. Still searching, Cat putting in our Cat. best. The water's starting to look a lot nicer down here. Up to high, it was really canyony, super bony, like this deep, uh, and then like 20 feet deep, but it wasn't moving at all. But down here, it's steelhead water. So hopefully we can get in some lower river holding fish. Running up? Yeah, it's coming up, coming up, coming up. Get it in the water. I think that just on there. Was it bright? Oh, the one was bright. Like it was blue. Yeah. <laughs> The old blue back, huh? That's what we call them. They nosed up into the back of that sawed off log and, and then it looked like they went under and up. Huh. I, I don't know. I, I kind of almost thought I saw something, but it, it was so fast that it could have easily been just my uh, my brains. We're just cruising together right now. They still had holy f three of them right here. Hey, get it. Get it. It's right off that bank. There were three. They're chrome. We're getting in the fish though. We gotta start fishing. <laughs> they were moving when I saw them. The other ones, they were definitely, they were definitely sitting, sitting out there. Sitting out there. What was that, Mikey? I was thinking of tree right there. Is that a tree right there? I don't know. I don't see a tree. You don't see that branch right there, the light one? Yeah, but you were not there. You were inside of that. Bunch of them. Don't move, just don't move. Don't move. Oh my god, another one. Yeah. You're too pissed off at it. 
There they are. They were like up in here, dude. It's laying right up in this log, basically. Darn, those were nice fish, man. How many of you guys out there, how many of you guys and gals out there have buddies that are like Jordan? Every time he's like, all right, let's get out of here. We've run like 30 casts through here. He's like, all right, let's get out of here. And then he'll say, let's get out of here. And then he'll make three to five more casts after he said, let's get out of here. I think he's on number three right now. <laughs> Drop a comment. Let's hear it. Call out your friend. Water was low, fishing was uh, very, very slow. We got a big goose egg. We've seen them though, they do exist here. We just got our asses handed to us, you know. And uh, hopefully it's just a learning lesson and we'll do something different next time. But we got the other boys down there, so hopefully they're kicking ass and they got some fresh fish full of lice. And that's all we could hope for, make this video happen. We fished a lot of water today, a lot of shallow water. We had a lot of weather out there. As you saw, we saw rain, hail, sunshine, maybe some snow. Lonnie Brooks over there doing the last bit of straps, going for the long haul. Yeah. Don't know quite what we're gonna do tomorrow. It was an interesting day, that's for sure. It was very interesting. The float was started off very unknown to all of us just kind of dropping over this hillside kind of into a canyon it was a canyon like massive boulders really tight as we got into the lower lands we started seeing some fish they just wouldn't turn so it's all right it's fishing that's how it goes um we'll be back at it tomorrow well listen this is a familiar sight marlon me rowing you backwards through tidewater yeah it was a pretty good day though. We're completely learning a new river. We talked to a guy, he looked pretty local when we started this morning. He said they got two yesterday. And we actually had quite a few opportunities. You know, when Marlon landed one and a half, I screwed up about three or four times. It wasn't that long of a float, so. We learned, we came, we conquered, we landed a fish, we saw some fish. Learned a new river. I enjoy myself. That's always the best part is just seeing a new a new well, place. Well, we're successful, man. There's probably people who have fished this river for years and never caught one. You know, you gotta take the little victories. I really wish I would have seen that cromer though, up Got close. To touch it. I wish I would have seen him up close. Most of the fun was over. The bobber down, the hook set, the fight was damn near done. I just wanted to touch him. All right, so the rest of the day ends up being, we don't find much. Jordan's kind of rowing down the river. We're still continuing to just search buckets and look for fish. And eventually the river just runs dry and we finally end up getting to the takeout and we didn't find any more fish. But again, it ended up being an amazing day anyway. It was really cool to see all those fish in the hole and see how many fish in that system. And you could just imagine if this river had water in it and it had color and depth it would have been a slaughter fest. It, it would have been amazing. So it definitely motivated me to want to go back again and fish down there again. And I feel really blessed to meet a couple of the anglers that live down there and thank you for showing us your home water. And we appreciate the hospitality. Everyone down in Southern Oregon was amazing. In fact, when we got to the takeout, we ended up running into a fan, an attic fan. Shout out to that dude. He gave us a ride shuttle back to the, to the Yakima Ranger so we could get that thing and, and tow the boat out and go plan day three. All right, guys. Well, it sounds like the other, the other crew of boats didn't do too good. It sounds like they struggled. So us only hooking a couple wasn't too bad, Jordan. And getting to see that amazing amount of fish in those holes, that was pretty freaking incredible. So we're going to go rally with the other guys, figure out what the plan is for the rest of the night, and figure out what the plan is tomorrow. So follow us along.
Getting waitered up, ladies and gentlemen. Getting our waiters on. Jordan, what's gonna happen today, dude? What's gonna transpire? Oh, this is, uh, what is this, float number three? Float number three in Southern Oregon. Oh, it's I been an exciting trip so far. It's been really cool seeing new water and exploring new stuff and seeing stuff that we've never fished. That was kind of the purpose of this, this first trip down here was to just start to learn, start to kind of get our, get our feet wet a little bit in these rivers and set up another trip in the coming future. What have you thought so far, dude? I think we've caught a fish on every river we've fished so far. That's exactly yeah, right. That. I talked to some guy yesterday who gave us a ride from the boat ramp. He's been down here for eight days, been living in Oregon for six years, still has that not caught really a steelhead to date. I'm not gonna mention who, he's a very nice man. We'll, we'll be fishing with him soon. But just goes to show you that it takes a lot of hard work and persistence. And when we can come out here and catch one or two, it's a really cool feat. And I'm excited about it. I try to take those little victories. Nobody travels and does do-it-yourself trips and catches a bunch of fish. But as no. long as you get a fish everywhere you go, man, that's a, you can't ask for any more. On every river. On every river we, we fish. This is number four. So Cam got one on the big river. You got, you guys got whatever, seven. Yesterday we hooked five. You know, the other group didn't get any, but we still accomplished the goal. Somebody yep. got a fish on the river. Yep. Today, it's all it's gonna take is one to make it a good day, but we'll see. This is a, this is a river that has a lot of hatchery fish, a lot of wild fish too, so and it's at the lowest conditions it's been in a while and nobody's really floating it, so. And what's cool like is that. the cut, like it looks very conducive to how we like to fish with fixed floats, just the level it's at and stuff right now, so I think we're gonna do good, so. Steelhead coming up! What I love about fishing even more than catching them is getting people on to fish, whether it be one of my best friends uh, in the front of the boat or of somebody I've never met before. Uh, but to be quite honest, on this trip, I was really jonesing to get some me time behind the stick. Uh, and up until this point, I had missed so many opportunities. Um, you know, throughout the trip, I, you know, the whole beginning of it at least, I bet I lost or missed at least a half dozen fish up till that next morning. And so we pull up to the boat ramp and what was about to unfold was highly unexpected in my opinion. Uh, as we got there, I started sliding the boats in, we got everything ready, and Nate said, you need to go up to that hole up there and check it out. The guys are kind of shuttling the rigs, so me and Jordan, we row across and we just start fishing before any of the guys get there. And up to this point, Jordan hadn't caught fish. You know, huge shout out to Jordan. I freaking love the guy to death. He's always rowing me down the river. And even on times when I'm I offer, like, hey, Jordan, you want me to row? He's like, no, dude, I got it. He hadn't got one to this point. And so he was really wanting to get a steal and was struggling with it. And it's funny because he ends up picking the lower bucket, which looks better. It looks like the better part to fish. And I run up to the top bucket and first cast through. Holy see him hiding in that. There he is, got him. Fish on, baby! Uh, Jordan, I totally called it too. Actually, a little, a little. Nice little hatchery steelhead. We are gonna be fishing all day today and then traveling about five and a half, about five hours home. And so I don't wanna keep any of these fish today. So we're just, little, no. We're just gonna let these guys go. We're gonna let this guy go do his thing. You ready, buddy? Thanks for experiencing this trip with us, addicts. I'm stoked. It's been a great, great trip. What happened? Just came off irregularly so i caught one i hooked one right there I, what happened i thought my bobber was messed up and so i went to mend and it like went down and it like stayed and i'm like wait a second it's still down i said the same fish you did? no no where you just cast and then i just hooked another one where you casted and then i hooked another one further down first drift through bobber down missed the fish didn't even expect it i don't even think i was looking second cast through my my uh, bobber tangles on the cast and i go to kind of pull on it to untangle it and the float goes down there's a fish underneath it. Totally missed the second opportunity. What's happening here everybody is that Jordan, I don't know if it's being on the road which is usually my forte or whatever but I am just screwing everything in life up. I've missed like four fish already. That one finally went down. I let it stay down for about 45 minutes. Hooked it up. Comes off at the bank. Nice beautiful cromer. So. Let's see if I can pull it out. I'm all like anxious here trying to get a drift in before our, all our buddies come up here. 
I'm sure everybody knows how that is. It's like you start messing stuff up, you start tangling your, oh look, just like this Marlin's coming in. Start tangling your tip, you start messing up, start missing fish. That's gonna get another fish though. And Marlon at this time already just landed a fish and kicked it off, sitting there talking about how awesome Southern Oregon is. And here I am in my home state, still haven't landed a steelhead, uh, and I'm still missing and whiffing every opportunity I have. Uh, but what happened through the rest of the day was totally unexpected and was such a blessing. I, there's more fish in that run up there too. Cause I had another bobber down that I missed. Watch this, I'm about to get one. Right behind that rock where my bobber's at right now, I watched one flash. Oh, there, one just did it right there. And I set my bobber stop, or my bobber at my, like, I got a foot, and I went through there and hooked a fish instantly. Oh, one just flashed, dude. Right in front of us. Did you see it? Oh, did you see the, the one that was right under my bobber? The one that I saw. There was one right here. Right here yeah, on the inside. There's quite a few chrome fish sitting there. Stuff. Did you see that everybody? Kept deepening up about two to three inches each time. We saw a couple fish move. <laughs> That's a nice fish. I'm a double. Double it up, please. Ooh, you're at the perfect depth now too. It was as soon as it made it past that rock into that bucket. That worm is gone. Look at that. He completely inhaled it. A little bank trash. See everybody, this is what happens. When you <laughs> Man, that ten and a half foot rod's pretty fun. What a nice fish, everyone! Look at that. Look at that fish. Hatchery. Oh yeah. This is what happens when you put some hatchery fish in the river, people. You can get to the boat ramp, you float across, and you start catching them. Go cool, imagine that. Look at where that jig's at too. Look at that red pearl <laughs> mustad jig head. That thing did not come off that time. What a beauty. Finally, my Southern Oregon steelhead. Finally. That's some hard work. But I tried to stay in positive. And it worked out. A little positive attitude, a little depth change. It's kind of all a haiku at this point, right? There's a, that other riffle. I hooked one first cast in that top oh, riffle. Oh. High fives. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty yeah. sweet, man. Awesome. I, I screwed off uh, about three of them right away. Did really? you? You hooked one lower in there, didn't you? I hooked the one right. Well, first one I cast out, and I thought my bobber was twisted. So I went to men, and it just went down. And I'm like, oh crap! And I'm like, <laughs> and I oh, see dude. the fish do this. I'm like, oh god! And it came right off. And then I go right over there behind the rock at about a foot. <laughs> missed it. And then I sent one down here and let it sit down for about 45 minutes. Okay. That one you hooked, you lost it. Yeah. They're just sitting right in that little trench. Yeah, there. Yeah, well, if you watch long enough, you'll see them. Look, 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 look how deep I am. Really? There was, at one point, dude, we saw four or five of them. Whoa, really? Yeah. Damn. Did you just see that, Sean? Got him. Dude, Lonnie, he bit it like a freaking trout. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Another little chromey. Yep, another hatchery. Man, it's amazing what happens when we put hatchery fish in the river. Yeah, no kidding. That's a nice, nice hatchery fish, too. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh, I love that jig so much. Nope. Oh, there he goes. We'll get another one. <laughs> yeah. Nice. That was cool. That was the nicest one yet, America. It's shallow. Yeah. It's shallower than this, but it still looks good. I can't believe how that thing ate. It was full on trout McGee magnet. Did you see that? I heard it too as I was walking away. Did you see that, Sean? Yeah. Oh, and there, there he is. is. <laughs> Did you see that? I looked at you guys and I was like looking up river and I looked back my mom was just gone. <laughs> oh, look at that walk! <laughs> Tell you what dude, I am loving these mustad floats. I'm loving them. 
is how you break rods, folks. Little! Just another just chrome hatchery. Look at that. Little dimer. So basically what I was using there, folks, Sean, it's under you if you wanna, if you wanna hand it to me. I'm fishing the Mustad Addicted Float with the full weight system on there. So it's got two weights, the O-ring, the two pieces of surgical tubing. And then I just have basically an eighth ounce jig, orange. And she liked it. Let's let her go. Oh, yes. Yes. That felt so good. Ooh, that's gonna get one. Yeah, I'm gonna get one right off the edge of that boil. I that was a fish. Damn it! That doesn't sound good. Damn it! Man, that was totally a fish. That was the one. The one that Marlin got the bite. It looks natural, dude. There he is. Got him. Oh! 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 I would have had a hell of a trip so far if I wouldn't quit messing this stuff up. <laughs> I probably missed 10 fish so far the whole trip. A black cat walked across me in front of the road last week and I knew it was gonna bite me in the ass. Here we are, losing fish. Oh my God, I, I said the hook to the money. Well, that was about the best session we've had so far. Launched the boat, walked up river. I think we had six to nine attempts right there, or chances at fish, landed a few. I think we're in for a good day, folks. Join us. Dude, what a good little sesh we just had that right there. That was badass. I love a hole like that too, where it's just like dreamy bobber down. Oh, Every dude. One of them just, it's like a fart in the wind. Roll to a badass little just a, like a one minute clip, Sean, of us beating down fish right there. Cue it right now. There he is, got him. Oh, nice one. Little chromey. I just told him, I'm like, yeah. we'll go down here and then we'll let you guys get in front and just fish the next hole first. Yeah. Oh, I can see one. I can see one right there. 100%. Oh, Jordan, one just rolled. I literally just saw him roll 20 yards down from my bobber. It's not sandy over by the bank. Can you see the stand up? You can see the gravel. There's fish right there. See him? See him moving up? See him? Oh my god, there's a whole bunch of them. Stop moving so much. Oh Stop my! Much. Stop moving so much. There's a hundred of them. There's a hundred of them. There's a whole bunch still right here too. Just down river from us. I can see two right there for sure. Row back up. Oh, they're all right there. They're going down again. 
It's okay, they're gonna hold up right at the end of that tail out and we're just gonna slowly work down to them. This is ridiculously nice. Yeah, we need to over here. Yeah, I'm just gonna park at the island. The sun's starting to come out pretty heavy. I would imagine a lot of these fish are gonna be sitting in some of these fast water riffles too. So I put on, oh my God, that was good. Here's a nice little trick for you, addicts. If you wanna take two rods, one thing I always do is I'll just take my other rod and shove it down in between my waders right there and then I can still fish and walk with the other rod. Just a little trick. All right, boys. Catch me out here on these sticks. I think all he's trying to prove is that if you don't row, you don't go method. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Should I send this rapid? Put my life jacket on and just do it. Screw it, I'll do it. Dude, that seems like it's happen. about to Let go of the oars. He jumped down and grabbed the frame and just ride it out. No, oh, dude, I just freaking performed some sort of like weird exorcism thing and I take your soul for a second. Exorcism thing. <laughs> and then I row down the river, ask for and and then that when got. I got done through the rapid, I give it back to you. We just need to start bombing until we see fish again. Seriously. That's what me and Jordan were doing yesterday and that's how we were getting on them. Now, first trip I've really gotten there. What the hell? <laughs> that would have been a fish. We would have got it. Woo! I think I chipped my jig head here. No, we're good. Must have been bottom, huh? I guess. And we're moving. We're not finding any fish. We're like just cruising down the river. I'm rowing a little bit for Jordan. We're just on the move, not finding any fish. We're fishing all these amazing looking holes and we're just not landing on anything. We're fishing them pretty consistently and pretty good to, to the point where we're thinking like, man, there's no other fish. They're like not here. But I don't think they're gonna be on the top of that. I don't know, dude. Maybe. I'm like baffled. I'm just completely baffled that there wasn't fish in that last hole. That like, that, that like made me lose. If they don't get one on a plug, there's no fish there for sure. This makes me like lose belief that where steelhead sit is a real thing. It's like little army men sending them down the pipeline. Front lines going in motion. This looks so good. There has to be one in here. It looks like the first spot we, the top spot. Oh, he f***ing came off. I saw no! Big, giant head shake too, wasn't it? Yes. I didn't see the fish, but I did watch your rod. Dang it! I was just too far down. That's the problem with long lining. Jordan literally just said, "Let's just row down there," and I was long lining my float way down there. And that's the problem when you do that is you can't, you don't have enough to pick up and get a good enough hook set into the fish. And I lost him. And I probably might have dropped a cuss word or something that Sean had to bleep right there. Except that huge giant one swimming right there and that one right there. Oh, did you see both of those? There goes, oh my God, we're right on top of them. There's like three or four more. Oh. You guys, stop. There's a whole drop bunch. The anchor. There's a whole bunch. Huge one, too. Just drop right there and just dead drift it down through here. They came right up to you. Huh? Yeah, just yeah. They're all they literally just scattered towards you. So just start looking. They were way. They were underneath us. In the they were over here. They weren't in the run like where we were running it though. I think we fish some pretty dang good looking water, and we're not finding any fish. So that's. They're sitting in those in really shallow water right now. Everywhere we've seen them, they're mm -hmm. in really calm water. You're not finding them in your normal chop like you would get the, for the cover, you know? Yeah, like look at this. How's there yeah. not a fish in that? Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I like the sound of the quicker little both acclimation sites, the rubber boot hole. Oh my! Did anybody see that? 
I wasn't looking. I, I couldn't see. I was watching in there. I didn't see anything though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't even see your spinner. Though. What? Yeah. Man, that would have been cool. He's sitting here BS. <laughs> All right, one more. Are we thinking like either pull out there, go back up and hit that, and like float again, or just walk? Just walk across and hit it, and then he said we could go up to then the other one that's even up river farther and fish that one. That one's a little more accessible by people. Uh, but what I before we pull the boats out, why don't we just take that truck, run up there, and see if somebody's there? Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> that way, before we do all the waste well, of time like of the boats. We're good. It's, it's not like, like it's. Up, good yeah. I mean, those those holes are good, but I up there, fish are biting. You know, they're they're kegged up and they're biting. We've seen some kegged up, but they're not biting. Right. Sure. Giant, dude. That was totally a fish I lost. Damn it. Did you? Ah. Lose you saw a fish? Oh, f***ing beautiful buck. Damn it. Both of us missed that fish. Yeah, because I had that bobber <gasps> down. and I. You had the bobber down and I got hammered, dude. Like, it was... Oh. Well, everybody, we're fishing hard and not catching fish. We're seeing them. But uh, the slow water in a lot of these spots where these fish have been sitting have been really hard to hook them. They normally don't even really know they're going to be there until we float over them. So, another case of extreme water conditions, but we're learning a lot. And uh, I think we'll still get on some fish. We're going to float down and hit a couple more main holes, then we might hit the banks, actually, and go fish some different spots where we might actually stand a chance of getting on a, a little congregated piece of fish so I'd like to catch one Ben like to catch one come on little let's go catch some more fish so that day ends up going quick we end up like burning through these holes and we're like screw it you know what let's just go back up to that hole where we launched the boat and fish that again and see what happens so that's exactly what we did we took the boats out went back up and just went to fishing that hole. Finally, after a trout bobber down and I crossed his eyes and about changed his life, it's nice to come back on some chrome. All right, here she goes. Watch out, guys. <laughs> and so another person who hadn't caught one yet was Ben. So it was super exciting that Ben got it to get into that hole. I think we let him get some of the first casts in there and he finally ends up just freaking yanking and teeing off on one. So that was pretty cool to see. All right, everyone, we're up here getting the rods put away, and then we're going to run up, hit one more bank spot, and I think we're going to call it a wrap for Southern Oregon. What do you think? Okay. That's a wrap. I think that's... Yeah, ninth inning. We'll, yeah. Give her, we'll give her a shot for a few more. Hopefully we get some. We'll swing it a strike. We'll swing it a strike. Bottom of the ninth.
And then we decide, all right, let's, we got some more daylight. Let's go up and explore more of the river. So we went even higher up from where we floated and went way up into a canyon section. We run into two more attic fans that just tell us that they lost a fish. So again, the, the consensus was the camaraderie down here was amazing. Like all you anglers down in Southern Oregon were super awesome. We appreciate you guys showing respect to us and we appreciate you guys letting us fish your rivers down there. They'll hold, they'll hold everywhere in here. A lot of times you can see them right down in there holding in that shallow water. You can tail spinners down in there. Second Jordan. So beauty, man. Look at that. What a fish. What a pretty fish. Big thanks to Oregon Hatcheries for that. Woo! line with where your bobber was, but out another 10 feet. Yeah, that should go right to him. It's going right to his face. Oh, no, you're too close this way, but just keep it going. Am I deep enough? He did, yeah, you went right by him, he didn't even move. But you just need to go over another, you gotta be over another like five feet and you'll be right in his face. Over. Yeah, bring it over this way. Bring it, drop it right there. Hopefully it'll drop off that. Nah, it's gonna be too far. There you go. That's gonna be it, I think. That spooked him for some reason, Jordan. He's running up into the hole now. He's right here in front of you now, Jordan, just off this rock. Ben's going right for him. Ben, you're going right for his face right now. He's literally right off that rock, right where your bobber's going. Oh, he didn't like that. He's coming this way now. He's moved to the center now. Dude, you hit it. Yeah. It's gone. Check it, check it, check it. Oh! Dude, you hit that fish in the face with that one. You ready? This is the true testament. X rod E. This is a wild. This is a wild. Yeah. Oh well. Tough drugs. <laughs> Coming at you. <laughs> All right. Well, you know. 
fish. That's a stud, though. Nope, broke. Broke off. I don't have any. You do that on purpose, because I don't have any more with me. <laughs> uh, Touch leader, though. Landed yeah. fish. Landed fish. Well, I had his tail. And it, Twice. It went by. It, well, I had it. They're him. slicker than snuff. And it, yeah, they get that slime on them when they're over for like three months. When I think he might have been in here last year. Yeah. <laughs> Summer. He's old. So old. Grandpa, oh, grandpa grandpa broke fish. so easy. <laughs> you know why? Because it, it was, I saw oh, it, it already. It was rubbed on rocks yeah. down there. Change your leaders <laughs> after you catch fish. That's a wrap. That's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. We have a really, really long drive ahead of us. So we're gonna go up here, get packed up. Stay tuned, we're gonna go try to get some in and out, I think. We go into this cannon, we hook a couple more fish. It ends up being an absolute epic way to end the trip and just kind of end the fishing of this whole thing in the canyon. I think Jordan gets another one, Nate hooks two more, I get one. It, it ends up just being an overall freaking awesome, awesome experience. We got a long Thanks drive on the hospitality. No problem. You guys Thank are welcome. You, man. Anyway. Oregon didn't disappoint. Thanks yes. for having us, dude. Hopefully, Hopefully next was... time we have water. Yeah. If you ever want to come up to our neck of the woods, there probably won't be any fish there, but you're more than welcome to come float down some rivers and see some cool scenery. Definitely. Sure. Yeah. It's... Everybody was so nice here. That's a fact. Seriously. Did you notice that? Like over the top, way Every nicer than went to... average areas. Well, yeah. even on the river, like every angler we ran into was like supportive super, yeah. and having fun and yeah. having a good time. Nice to see. It's amazing what hatchery fish does for people's morale. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Come up to Washington and watch your back. <laughs> watch your back. <laughs> All right, yeah, man. Well, we got to go. Thanks again. Yeah. Yeah. Some grub, hey, boys. Safe drive, hey huh? good meeting you, you, dude. So much. Nice meeting you. You guys are welcome anytime. Thanks. Thanks. All right, everyone, we just drove a super long ways home and we were all very excited to like cap off this trip with some In-N-Out Burger. And there's literally, eh. there's literally like flaggers here, like Seriously. directing parking. I've never seen that before. Lonnie called me when he pulled up. And he's like, there's no way I'm eating at this place. There's a line <laughs> out the door. And he's right. So our dreams were crushed, but- Our steelhead dreams weren't. Our steelhead no, dreams were weren't. definitely not crushed. It was an amazing trip. I don't think we could have asked for more on our first trip down there. No, no there was highs and lows. It, we knew what we were getting into, and we saw some awesome new stuff. We did Caught really fish. good for exploring new rivers. Yeah, we caught a fish totally. in a different river every day. We did. Mm -hmm. Every day we caught a fish in a different river. Yeah. That's freaking cool. That's winning. That's, That's really, really cool. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys want to see more of these like little mini series where we travel into different areas of the Northwest, make sure you drop a comment below. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. We'll see you guys on the next one. So wrapping it all up, you know, I felt so fortunate and, and in a certain realm lucky, you know, for the experience that we all got to share on this trip. These adventures are totally something that could not happen without addicts like you guys and, and the support from people like in, in the places like Southern Oregon. So can't wait to get back and can't wait to share more fun experiences with you guys down there. So as this adventure comes to a close, I hope this has inspired all you guys out there, inspired all you addicts, all you people watching this video to go out on your own adventure, go explore, go get out of your element, whether it's for bass or musky or trout, salmon, steelhead, halibut, saltwater fish, I don't care what it is, plan an adventure, pick a spot on a map, get in your car with a couple buddies, drive to it, fly to it, go out on an adventure, explore and see new things educate, entertain, and inspire. And we'll see all you guys on the